welcome to the Active Towns channel. I'm John Zimmerman, and this is a very special video from my recent trip to Colorado. It is all about the incredible program that the state of Colorado, uh, Bicycle Colorado, and the city of Denver has put together to try to encourage more people uh, to get out on bikes, specifically e-bikes. And this is all about the e-bike incentive program. Enjoy. From city streets to regional trails, it's hard to ignore the rise of e-bikes. Colorado is proud to lead the nation in investments to make e-bikes more accessible for people and businesses who want healthy, climate-friendly transportation. Bicycle Colorado worked with state and local agencies to help develop programs like the Denver Climate Action Office program that will distribute 4,500 bikes this year and the Colorado Energy Office program upcoming that will distribute $12 million in e-bike rebates. Let's learn how some of those investments are making a difference for Coloradans. My name is Frida Mitchell. I live in Denver, Colorado, and I, uh, my e-bike, I love my e-bike. Uh, my name is Chris. I live in Southwest Denver, and I uh, ride an e-cargo bike. Last year, my commute went from six miles to 20 miles, and this really makes it easy to ride in and commute every day. My name's Jamie. I'm the program director at Denver Food Rescue, and today I'm riding our Yuba Super Cargo electric bike, which we use for moving food around the Denver metro area. Yo soy Julie Gonzalez, y es un honor y placer ser dueña de este um, bicicleta uh, electrónica uh, que se llama Cereza. My name is Darnell Robinson. I work at Sprouse Farmers Market Retail. I work in the dairy department, and this is my e-bike. Gets me where I need to go every, every day I need it. My name's Alex. I ride a Turn HSD e-cargo bike. My name is Strother Gaines. My pronouns are he, him. I ride a REI co-op uh, e-bike. My name is Matt. Uh, my daughter and I are able to ride to school every morning and I pick her up every day. My name's Rachel and I ride a Class 3 V-Volt that I affectionately have named the Martian Lander. So we like to go school downtown, pick my son up, and then we go back home. But we also like to take the bike. We start exploring different playgrounds in the neighborhoods. Uh, he loves to go to Target. We go to the grocery store and small errands, friends' houses, things like that. I use the e-bike every day. The only days I wouldn't use it if the weather is really bad. I like to ride to work, from work, really just making small errands as I make my way through the day. I had to carry everything on my back. And so having the space for cargo with groceries or at the hardware store, that makes a big difference. I have a four-week-old daughter who I'm excited to, for her to get on this. And I actually had my parents out in town and my mother, my 70-year-old mother, rode this from Denver to Morrison and back. And she wouldn't have been able to ride, ride with us without, without the assist. And so it was, that, that made such a difference in our day. Our volunteers move food mainly using bicycles with attached trailers. Every weekend our volunteers ride hundreds of miles with these bikes. It feels so much easier to move food using this electric bike than it does on a non-electric bike. Even the hill on this little bridge across the Platte can be challenging if you have a lot of food in the back of your bike. I work two and a half miles from my home. I live on the north side of Denver. I work at the state capitol. I'm a state senator. And to be able to actually uh, ride my e-bike and it's actually faster to get there on my e-bike than it is for me to drive in. Some of the places that I ride to are the Auraria campus every morning, um, to the grocery store, and then just cruising around. Um, honestly, I just ride. In the five weeks I've been riding, I've put 800 miles on it. Uh, yeah, so my bike is a family e-bike. Uh, my daughter is two years old. She and I ride everywhere, every chance we get. Um, she adores sitting on the back of it, and uh, it's, it's great for transportation. It makes life a lot easier. My hope right now is to commute at least two out of four days a week to school. I ride it to go to work, run errands, and just to get around my town. I love it. Riding the e-bike made me feel good. It's very relaxing. I'm not a whole body of sweat when I'm riding every other day. It pick, picks up most of my pace so I don't have to put out so much energy. It's really good. When I ride the e-bike, it, make, it lets, makes me feel free. I love riding one with nature and you just you just think positive vibes and you just go all over the place and you see stuff that you wouldn't see when you're in a car. 
I feel great when I'm out riding my bike. Uh, this morning, the sun was shining through the trees. I was running along Bear Creek. It felt like fall was coming in. We won this grant a year ago, and when we first got these bikes, I think it was October 2021, we felt like some of the only people out there with e-bikes. And this past few months, with the rebates and everything, there's just been such an explosion. Always make eye contact with other e-bike riders, like, yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> we're having a great time out here. Fun is not what I associate with my commute. And now, like, going through Wash Park, going through City Park, being able to kind of check out different spaces of Denver on my way to school and on my way back has been really exciting. To be really honest, when I ride my e-bike, my brain turns off. I feel free. I'm able to focus. And it's just so good for my mental health and for my body. Traditionally, six months ago, I would have driven to, you know, and to be able instead to ride my e-bike, it's pretty fun. I'm like willing to go out a lot more and just driving is awful here now. Um, and it's a lot more fun for me to commute around the city. I'm able to go more places and it's, it's enjoyable. Um, my daughter wants to not, she wants to get on this seat instead of her car seat. It is actually easier for me to ride an e-bike around my community than drive. And so I literally have been replacing car trips with e-bike trips. Um, because of my e-bike, I feel like I can ride anywhere, get there without feeling sweaty, my knees don't hurt. Um, and I can do things like go to Costco with my e-bike. Stay safe, learn your turn signals with your hands, keep your lights on in the early mornings and the late at nights. We still follow some traffic laws, so look up on that and you'll have a good time. Ah, the weight loss. I lost 20 pounds, so I love the e-bike. Get on the bike, you will lose 20 pounds because I did it, I did it, and I, you'll love it, you'll love it. Actually, having this e-bike gives me a lot of freedom um, and, and mobility in ways that I hadn't really anticipated. If I can ride my bike, it changes my whole mood and outlook for the day. It's the best investment I've ever made in my life. You'll find that you just get to ride more and uh, you'll enjoy riding more and, uh, and people will look at you and wish they were riding an e-bike too. <laughs> We got a $900 rebate, um, and that was just enough to make me pull the trigger. I've been on the fence for a while, but the idea of getting the discount was a huge incentive for me, and I've been so happy we did because it's replaced our daily commute in both directions, most days a week, and we love it. Yes, it saved me so much money. We're talking thousands of dollars. If I didn't have an e-bike, I'd most likely be paying upwards of $20 to $30 on Uber or Lyft, uh, RTD, just to get from one place to another. I would not have bought this bike without the, without the rebate in Denver. Um, that, that $900 made, made it from, well, may, maybe I could do this down the road to, yeah, I could do this today. And the program, if they, when they go ahead and do another part of the program, let's make history. Let us continue to have other states follow us. I am so proud of the fact that Denver and Colorado are leading in terms of our investments in bike infrastructure and that's that climate resilience across our city and our state. I was really dying to get out of my car, get out of traffic, and I love the fresh air, I love the exercise, I love seeing my neighborhood, and it's been such a fun way to get to know my city better. So thanks to Denver and to Bicycle Colorado and everyone for helping move the e-bike movement forward. It's been awesome. I believe this program is a great thing. We're one of the first recipients, one of the highest ones. And I believe every other state can go with, with this program too and we can get everybody on bicycles. I'm so excited and I'm so happy that I was, uh, was one of 13 that got to go ahead and do the pilot because you know, when we first started this journey, we didn't know if they are gonna accept it or not and they did it and I'm, I'm over the moon. Let's make history. Let us continue to have other states follow us. Uh, I just wanna say thanks to the Denver Climate Action Office for putting the resources and the funding behind this program, it's, it's enabled me to, to make big changes in my life. Thank you for the rebate program. Couldn't have done it without you. I've spent more on the helmet and the lock than I did on the bike. Uh, and so that was the only way this would have happened. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I think Denver Food Rescue really wants to thank especially the voters of the city of Denver who created the Climate Action Sustainability and Resiliency Office, which is funding a lot of these e-bikes and really making our city a better place for bike transportation. 
learning that Colorado is leading the nation in e-bike investments, um, it, it makes me feel proud because it shows that the that Colorado cares about its citizens. I really want to thank the state of Colorado for being a national leader in making sure that e-bikes are something that people can afford to get, um, that e-bikes are an option for businesses. I was incredibly proud to be a prime sponsor of the bill, Senate Bill 193, that uh, created millions of dollars uh, in grant programs to support local communities to create um, bike programs just like the one that CASR created here in Denver. We lead with our values and the, our policies are reflections of the values that we hold as uh, Coloradans and as Denverites. And so to be a part of this process, both on the policymaking side and now being able to uh, commute by bike myself. I just love that we're living our values in this way. These are just a few of the stories about how e-bikes can change how Coloradans get around. Using e-bikes for everyday trips reduces the number of cars on the road and reduces our greenhouse gas emission. Bicycle Colorado is encouraging partnerships between community advocates and local governments to help make e-bikes more accessible. Let's work together to get more people on e-bikes. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, <laughs> leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And a huge shout out to Bicycle Colorado, the city of Denver, and the state of Colorado for really leading the way nationally in terms of trying to give incentives to get more people out on bikes more often, and specifically uh, getting e-bikes into the hands of people who need them most. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. It helps out so much. And hey, a big shout out to my Active Towns ambassadors, uh, Patreon supporters, as well as the donors to the nonprofit Advocates for Healthy Communities. Uh, this was a pro bono project uh, sponsored by Advocates for Healthy Communities to Bicycle Colorado. So uh, this is part of what your donations are going towards. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.